everyone. Welcome back to the McMahon Group. Thanks for joining us today. Okay, I was just talking to my next guest about Americans in dieting, and he informed me that two-thirds of Americans are on a diet at any given moment. That means many of us and many of you out there are on a diet. But Robert Ferguson says basically <laughs> there's no need to diet. No. Diets we, fail. You we, can live a diet-free life. Yes, we can. And uh, unfortunately, people are trapped in a diet mentality and when that's the case it's very tough to break free it's because it's like, about restriction and deprivation exactly and but that's all we know it's like Einstein once said that if you know if you want to solve today's problems you have to change the mindset that created those problems and in order for us to break free of the diet mentality we have to think of how to drop weight differently than we have in the past. So in your book, you take us through a 21-day 21 21 mindset <laughs> makeover. Well, what's the magic number with 21 days? Well, 21 is a, is a great number. It's an easy number. It's something that most of us can embrace. Many people in the psychology world believe that it takes 21 days to establish a new habit. I believe it takes 40 days, actually 41 days. But 21 days is enough to give you a true opportunity to, one, make over your metabolism and make over your mindset. And then you've had a chance to actually see the pounds come off, shed the inches, and you never had to diet. You never felt deprived or restricted. And therefore, you can live the rest of your life that way. But some people are saying, you know what, that sounds way too good to be true. Yes. I can actually eat <laughs> wine, I can have chocolate, I can eat out on this yes. life Fast plan. Yes, food, it doesn't matter. You have to meet a person where they are. So if you came to me and said, I have to eat organic just to lose weight, well, maybe I can't afford organic. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to show people how they can eat processed food, mm -hmm. how they can eat you know, cheap food, food on the go, something that's going to work for the person. Again, meeting them where they are yet getting the results they want. So let's talk about that, eating on the go. I think that sabotages mm -hmm. a lot of us when we're busy, we're out, we grab quickly, go through a fast food line. What, what can we eat at restaurants? Oh man, you can eat whatever you want. Really? It's really just a matter of combining the foods in the right way. And you can significantly like increase the amount of fat you burn by just taking like a fast carb, like a potato. And when you eat that potato, eat it with something that's high in fiber like broccoli. And then eat that with, say, a protein like steak or chicken or turkey, fish. You pick your protein source. And then the foods together are actually helping you keep your blood sugar levels from going too high and dropping too low. You're satiated, right? right. You got room for some fat in there. You got your condiments you want to add, spice it up, add the flavor and the savor, and life is good. But my mind goes back to, okay, but isn't it all about calories? Calories in versus no. expending calories? because if I said eat 1,200 calories a day, but it's pure fat calories, then you would lose muscle, you would slow your metabolism, and you would become nutrient deficient in many other areas of, of your body and metabolism. Okay. So it's not just about calories. It's not about just about calories. Take me through, let's start with the morning, let's go through Starbucks, okay. grab something, and then I'm going to eat lunch at McDonald's. What should all right, I order? so I'm going to go to Starbucks. Starbucks and get a Vivano right. oh, smoothie, right? Or I'm going to get that traditional egg McMuffin or English McMuffin with the, uh, the meat in there and the cheese, and then I'm gone. So I'm not going to sit there and have the muffin with the brownies and the big latte, right? But I can have the muffin? Yes, you can have the muffin. Now, the muffin's going to be a little low in protein, and then you would want to look at a way that you could bump up the protein because you want to get an adequate amount of protein. And, and for those of us who are maturing in life, faster, right. right, then that's the one area of nutrition that you upgrade. So if I was 70 years old, the only thing that I would really change is I would bump up my protein intake. And then a lot of us are saying, okay, this sounds really good, Robert Ferguson. And it is But good. after I eat this brownie, <laughs> I've got to go spend three hours at the gym to take that But you, you know, don't. That off. See, five years ago, people would argue that more. But now I have thousands of people who have gone to In-N-Out Burger and they've gone to McDonald's and they've gone to all the fast foods and they've eaten organic and they've all dropped 5, 50, 200 pounds. So you say really exercise is overrated. We don't need to exercise Well, as exercise much as is great. It has a lot of, you know, heart health benefits. It definitely helps my mood. I mean, sure. I, I love exercising, but we give too much credit to it. Whereas the one thing we're going to do each and every day is eat. So it begins with food. And then you bring in activity. And then the mindset supports that, and then it's a lifestyle. And you say 12 or 30 minutes of exercise is really all you hey, need. Hey, let me take you through a 12-minute workout. I mean, that'll be, it's, it's one of those things where if it's a quality workout, then you're going to get the benefits that you want. Now, I like an hour of cardio every once in a while. Just, I just need that time. But at the same time, I know how to get it done in 12 minutes. And in your book, I was really impressed when I read that your mother lost 100 pounds 
by eating this way. Oh, 100%. And she's a woman who had knee replacement surgery twice, rotator cuff twice, stents in her uh, arteries. Um, she survived breast cancer twice, and she's not a young whippersnapper, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if it can work for her, then it's mama approved, then it can work for anybody. And where do vitamins come into play? I mean, I hear so many mixed things about vitamins. You don't really need them if you're eating the right foods, and then other people say you need all sorts of supplements. Well, you know, supplementation is a very positive thing. Uh, there's times for supplementation, but I do believe that many of us overdo the supplementation. Okay. Uh, I think we can get quite a bit through our foods and fruits okay. and vegetables. Uh, I know there's a big movement where people talk about the soils are depleted, mm -hmm. but I also have seen the science of the fact that we actually get more minerals and vitamins in certain foods that are coming from the soil. So it all depends on who you're talking to. Everybody's got an agenda. My thing is stay neutral. I'm just going to keep it real. Show me some serious studies, and then you got my attention. Right, and, and your book, I, you did get my attention because you show before and after, you show specific people telling their story about how this worked for them. Exactly. And so again, it clearly works. every day, any person has got to work for the person where they are. That means if it's Italian food you want, Mexican food, soul food, Chinese food, you wake up, you want rice for breakfast, you got to show people how they can eat the foods that they have a cultural relationship with, but eat those foods in a way where they can drop the pounds, right? And as we, as we drop the pounds and we're feeling better, then we can share the good news and no longer the diet blues. Right. And we, I mean, there are so many resources available to us out there. It seems like we've all heard, we all know what to do. Right. I mean, I was thinking about this this weekend when I went to Costco with my husband, and they say, you know, eat before you go grocery shopping so that you don't grab right. everything. <laughs> and it really does work, right? These little tools oh, really 100%. do Oh, 100%. And it's, it's one of those things where if, if you don't, your blood sugar drops, and you can't rationalize. And you, I guess that inner person comes out and just buys whatever. <laughs> it's so true. And I think so many of us have that all or nothing mentality you know I have to be so strict and so good cookies are bad I have one or two forget it I blew it I'm just gonna eat the whole bag and I'll start my diet on Monday well, you know what's interesting is if you look at the diet mentality it's very much like the person who spends a significant amount of their life in prison it's like once they get out of prison yes. often they are just out of control and they're reckless and the only way not to be reckless is to stay in the house and don't do anything but once they get out there then they get pulled into trouble Whereas with the diet mentality, it's like we're enslaved and we're like, I can do it. I can do it. And I'm disciplined. I'm disciplined. And then as soon as I like get off track, man, watch out. <laughs> that's the truth. That's the truth. I think that's why two-thirds of Americans are on a diet that's constantly right. because it's a roller coaster. Uh, where can we find your book? And can it's we in bookstores anywhere all over the country, uh, Amazon, uh, online, et cetera. And I'm here in town doing a book signing tonight at FitQuest. And then I'll be in Tucson tomorrow. And uh, the, my goal is just to get the word out there and just help people break free of the diet mentality. Great. Thank you so much for sharing. You can find more information about Robert Ferguson and visit him tonight. Find out information on our website, aztv.com. We'll be right back. We're talking about sports next.